I'm afraid I'm gonna roll over her foot. Oh, it's a pretty girl. <gasps> Vinny's a pretty girl. Yeah. All right, hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, I got a few things to show you, and one thing that I'm like kind of, I don't, should I show it or not? I have the fruitcake polish from the Box of Cheer. Everybody wanted swatched. Everybody just wanted to see a swatch of that. Kind of feel like I need to swatch that for you. But that's it. Not do anything with it right now. I don't know. Am I going to even like it? I don't know. What should I do? All right. I'm going to go ahead and do everything else I had planned to do in this video. Well, let's see. Let's plug my mic in. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Um, show you what else I have, and then toward the end, I'll do the fruitcake polish. So then I'll warn you. So you can watch the video if you are not wanting to, you know, get everything spoiled for you yet. <laughs> I don't know who at this point, if you haven't bought the box, the box of cheer, I'll put that link up here. I am going to do a giveaway. I did procure a box to give away. And uh, that is not this video, but soon, as soon as I get it, and I don't know, they're, they're release, releasing, I don't know when they're releasing it. They had a few things that they were, they were waiting on because of, you know, the whole supply chain issue that's still going on, that corporations are just sticking it to the people, okay? But I'll show you what else I bought. There was some fun stuff on there. I went to look on the site. It's like, oh, this is some fun fall stuff. I'm dying to get into fall and get away from Halloween and getting past the pre-Christmas stuff I have to do. Got some plates, some really cute new plates. And I'll swatch these polishes too. We'll get to those in a minute. Um, Kind of like a gradient looking leaves and little flowers and leaves and sunflowers and pineapples or are the no those are acorns <laughs> pumpkins so these are so cute like you know you can put stamp them over something in a gradient you could use polishes to do a gradient stamp too that one's cute that one is um M334, and then I got M333, and I have so many plaid plates, it's not even funny, but houndstooth plaid, but this one is so cute because it has all these little animals, little pheasants, and squirrel, fall y'all. Hello, pumpkin. Love the foxes. Little deer. Really cute. Decided I had to have that plate because you know I don't have any plates. And then I got three piece rustic. Wasn't going to buy it. Was not going to buy it. But I saw somebody on. I don't know, Facebook, Instagram. I really try my hardest not to go on Facebook because it just, there's a whole thing with Facebook changing my account and I've got two accounts and then I have to switch back and forth and it's so hard <laughs> for me and my tiny brain. <laughs> but this kit, um, this grouping has Raisin, Peacock, look at that. I had to have that. And then brick. Um, hey, Maniology. Get with the program here, okay? Get your stickers on straight. Is raisin. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. And then we have brick, B453, I didn't say this one, B452, B453. Okay, I'll, wa I'll watch this back and edit and, and realize I said that wrong. You can read. The raisin is 
beautiful, but so is this rust, beautiful brown. I just did my sister-in-law's nails in Madame Glam gel polish. I'm getting it all over the place. That was a beautiful holographic brown. Oh, so pretty. And then Peacock. This one is what I like. I want. I went on the site to see raisin because I really thought I wanted to just buy raisin, and then I saw this peacock, and thought, "Oh, you might as well just buy all three, right?" Oh, fuzzies, yay! They're all beautiful, and I am gonna stamp on the tops of them so we know what kind of grade they get for stamping, but. I just don't imagine this one is going to stamp that great, but you guys know I'm always wrong. All right, I'm going to stamp all of these with uh, this plaid down here because it's pretty heavy and then you can see better. This really glittery one, I don't know, I don't have really high hopes for, but maybe I'll be wrong. It is beautiful, but this really intense glitter, I just don't know. Yeah, it's kind of hard to scrape. And that is my fault. I definitely did a bad job scraping that. Looks fabulous over white and not so great over a darker color. And all the glitter, I don't know. It might show better over like a cream. That would be really pretty over a a beige cream polish we're gonna give that a B looks it looks pretty it's really pretty and there is rustic ooh so pretty stamped look at that that gets an A plus a plus so pretty And Raisin. Oh, love this purple. Uh, again. A plus. That shows pretty good over dark. Fabulous over the white. It does still look like hollow glitter, but usually glittery ones lose that when you go to stamp them, you know? It still looks pretty good over the black, but over the white, it just looks purple. It's beautiful. They're all gorgeous. And painted on the nail, uh, absolutely opaque, two coats. Look away if you don't want to see this polish from the box, from the Advent box, the Christmas box O oh, cheer. Because I'm going to swatch this polish now, this fruitcake that everyone had a love-hate with. Um, normally, I love the ugly colors. I love them. The prugly. They're pretty, but they're ugly. Already, I am liking that better swatched, but I feel like I want to put Halloween stuff on this, not Christmas. Because this is actually... Christmas. It's a fruitcake polish. But okay, this is a perfect example of a Crelly. It is a little translucent, little jellyish background base color. Because if it was a cream, those glitters would be covered up every time you swipe that. That cream in that polish would just cover all that up. You wouldn't be able to see it.
I'm going to have to take a break and come back to this because I, my, I can smell my roast cooking back there and I'm going to have to do take care of that. All right, there is fruitcake. Uh, I put it on my nails and this took four coats of top coat. I used um, the purple little apothecary to start with. And then it's like, oh, wait a minute. That is not going to, that's not going to cut it. So um, I went to get my glisten and glow. Like I, I love that for a top coat, for a thick top coat, especially for glitter. And I remember to have the glitter grabber. It doesn't matter. Like I use two coats of this anyway. So whatever thick top coat you have that's a quick dry. Um, I still had to use two coats and this, you don't think that this is that much glitter, but it is a lot of glitter and it's still just a little bit textured, but the rest beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and I have gold rush. I'll pick up this little fox. He's so cute. And I'm going to do a little reverse stamp with him. All right, I'm going to use the, this nutmeg. I don't know what the box that's from. And then I'm going to grab some just bam white. And he's trying to bust into my room. I don't know. The ears need to be tipped black, but I'm just going to do white. It's going to be hard to get that little. And then his face, this part's white. And the little tip of his tail. I got a little carried away there. This one will be easier to color in. That white, it dries so fast. And I'm just doing what I always say not to do is don't touch the image with the brush, just drag the polish across. And I will be very surprised if this looks decent whatsoever. Oh, actually he's very, very cute. Uh, so I want a few of these leaves like falling. Behind my little fox. And let's um, cross our fingers that I don't screw this up. Um, I think I want, you know, they're starting to pile up the bottom. Um, the fox actually looks better over the teal, uh, but I'm like committed now. <laughs> Should I put the fox there? I don't know. Mm, no, I guess I shouldn't. That wasn't the game plan. But I'm going to put this pumpkin over here. And I use that gorgeous glitter to color those leaves in. And then I didn't put sticky base 
on my nail and it's not going to stick and now I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, that's all right. <laughs> A little fox. He did look cuter over that teal. All right, I just got to know. Is this going to stamp with the diggity dog? Because it's so glittery and kind of gritty. Oh no. Oh no. You could hear that. I don't know. Picks up pretty clear though, didn't it? Um, this stamper is a little uh, firm, firmer than a lot of them, so I am going to do straight lines because. It's kind of firm and um, all right that did really well so um, again I have to eat my words because that did stamp really well over that gold all right you guys I love these plates they're really cute the stamping polishes performed fabulous um, I have little top coat strings and I did these uh, all in a plaid I think they're really cute and I matte top coated them because I wanted to see this matte I kind of really want to top coat these matte too but I didn't but they're really nice beautiful matte hold still Tara's gonna yell at me go slow there you go <laughs> um, these are plate M333 and M334. Really cute, both of them. The polishes speak for themselves. Don't listen to me because I, you know, really flubbed up on that one because it's stamped beautifully. It's not so sparkly when it's stamped and there was no issue with, I didn't even uh, shiny top coat these before I matte top coated them and there is no texture to that nail so they're very beautiful this one is peacock raisin and brick the gold I was using is gold rush I absolutely love this gold rush it is fabulous fabulous and nutmeg so top coats, I know everybody's going to ask, and probably nobody's still here at this point. Glisten and Glow is my favorite quick, thick, quick dry top coat. Quick, thick, quick dry. Other top coats that I absolutely use all the time and love is um, Adored Colors Top Boss and purple willow apothecary it is a scented i don't recommend using that on whites because the scented on me i know it's a lot of me issue whites always yellow and did i use this yes i do i believe i used this ginger snap that's also a great one i love that one smudge free top coat as always from man from maniology I'm not really crazy about their quick dry top coat. I only tried it once. I could not get it to dry. It just didn't dry on the polishes I used. And that might have been um, an issue with um, versus, you know, like different chemical reactions when you try to mix a whole lot of different polishes and you layer different polishes on top of each other they're gonna react they're 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 just going to sometimes you're just gonna have issues with it um, matte top coat I used adored colors matte world maniology also also has a matte top coat um, I believe I have tested that against the rest of the top against the rest of the matte top coats that I like and I didn't really like it as well 
as um, Adored Colors and Glisten and Glow or Purple Willow Apothecary. And um, just as a little side note, I got this from Maniology. Isn't it cute? So pretty. Uh, just a, a pop stand um, to do nail art. Just to, like I, I, I put nails on these. Other people use them too. Uh, just to paint and like show different artwork or do it. It's easier if it's on one of these to test to see if you want to do it. It came with um, five of the little stuck together magnet stands and they just pop off like that. Now I have trouble sometimes with these little things popping off too. I just super glue them back on. Not that big a deal. And the little... Uh, Sticky tabs I use to stick these, um, just the press, press on nail tips, um, sticky tabs. I hate these though. These are scored. I don't know why it's stupid. Um, oh, I'm not supposed to say stupid. Lucas tells me not to say stupid. Um, but I have a whole bunch from Madam Glam and I love these. They're really thin, they stick really well. Um, I also have some other cheap ones. And I also have the little stickies, double side stickies that came with um, the Maniology swatch dots that I also bought. Um, they're really cool too. Alright, thanks you guys so much for watching and subscribe if you're going to buy anything from Maniology. Use Guideline 325 and you get 10% off and I get a commission. Woo woo! Stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. Leonardo is looking. Okay, can you turn it so I, huh? Can see where it was going. All right, here, buddy. Here, you can finish watching this in a minute. Here. Turn your pumpkins around. Or turn here, you around. Sit on the edge oh, of the... okay. No, I need to turn out. Here, sit right here between them. Take a picture of who will pull your pumpkins. But we can just think this is in a walk shoot. Huh? Can, think can you smile? Cheese. Are you going? Can you look at us? Hey. <laughs> You better not smile, don't